Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, I'm out of paper. Hold for a second. I'm gonna, do you have any paper? Why don't you just write on your hand? Write on your hand. Write on your freaking hand. I'll just write on my, continue, I'm ready. I have a pencil. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. My, could you? Probably should have got him pinned for this. <laughs> what, if, you know, what if it was? What if everything about me was exactly the same except my authentic laugh was? <laughs> How would things be different? That'd be enough of a reason to kill you. I think. <laughs> Oh, oh me! Special treats today, guys. Um, Special treats. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna sit this up here just so we can remember why we're all here today. You know what day it is? It's Thursday, and Thursday means mail. All right, all right. Hey, Jen. Hi. How you been? Been well. Um, you got some uh, some mail for us. Yeah, I do. You got some spaghetti? and a, a special guest. Yes, Pam can, is here today. Oh, don't, don't give it away. Oh, I'm so. You sorry. mean you brought cooking spray? <laughs> don't give it away. <laughs> she brought some cooking spray. Okay, cooking now, spray. Sh- should we go? Let's go ahead and figure out why this is here, and then maybe I won't feel as freaked out about it. All right. Well, can I hold it? It's rock solid. It's from. A lady named Lydia. <laughs> That's called, what do you call from it? New York. Rigor mortis. <laughs> is it? Okay, first of all, there's an iguana on here. It doesn't really match up. Dear Rhett and Link, hello, my name is Lydia and I will be 16 years old soon. When I heard about your mythical mail museum, I knew I had to send you something. I've been learning taxidermy and it really is a big part of my life. I have collected so many pelts, tails, and other animal parts that my bedroom looks like a museum. (laughs) I have a special love for small animals that are dead and stuffed. (laughs) She didn't write that part. And thus I use them most often in my work. Chipmunks are everywhere in New York and they're often killed by my friend's cat. Here's one right here. (laughs) Instead of letting them rot, I use them in my projects. I preserve the skins and mount them on clay forms. Ah, I can feel the clay underneath his skin. Here is one such chipmunk which I have taxidermied. Mm, Killed by a cat. I hope you like him. Please put him in your museum. Lydia Crespo. Of course we're gonna put this in the Mythical Meal Museum. Uh, It's gonna go in a box, bulletproof. His foot Um, is still pretty flexible. And it's gonna say New York right (laughs) underneath that. And we're gonna keep this for reference so we'll always know the story it came the gr- from. Oh, the ladies over there didn't like the uh, the foot flexing. You made the foot flex? Yeah, it's very flexible. But it's all, I mean, we're gonna put, he, he's gonna be preserved forever. Why don't you give it forever. to Jen and let her take it away yeah. to the, he'll you be are, preserved forever. All right, so oh. give it. <laughs> he's sleeping, he's a sleepy little dead chipmunk. Oh goodness, he wants to, he wants to take a nap so badly. <laughs> okay, holding him by the ear. Take All right, that's how you're supposed will, to carry animals. I will gladly send you off to the Mythical Mail Museum. Hmm. So send us your um, letters to explain why the meaningful thing that you want to be in our Mythical Mail Museum is meaningful, meaningful to you because that makes it meaningful to us and allows us to get to know you and more, Mythical Beasts. probably the only real animal that will be in the museum, I would think. Look at this, this, this is spot. cool. Right. So next up we got something from a, a man named John. He's 13 years old. Well, he's a boy. I'll read John's he's letter. He's an adolescent. He's from Massachusetts. Well, you know, in lots of places in the world he would already be a man at 13. Oh. Okay, so we've but got- But probably not Stowe, Massachusetts. Oh, check this out. Read it. Read I love it your show, way. and it has been part of my daily routine for I about two years show. now. I thought that my Picasso soft sculpture would work great, look great in your studio. Which, you know, incidentally, as soon as I saw that, oh, I was like- Oh, look at that. It looks super Picasso-y. It's very, very cool. It's a Picasso version of us. I almost dropped it. The medium- It's is an a, upright pillow? Yeah, yeah or, or a beanbag. It. 
The medium is an acrylic paint on muslin, which is a soft, thin cotton material. It is based on Picasso's cubism portraits and sculptures. It was hand stitched and stuffed, kind of like that animal you what guys just dealt with. Stuffing is the. Theme. He's got some beans at the bottom and stuffing at the top. This reminds us we went to um, Picasso's Picasso's museum. What was it? It was a place where he had, he had painted for a while on the uh, French Riviera. Yeah, it was. It was when we were there for Cannes. Can. Um, That's cool though. Huh? He's yeah, currently a student right. at his mother's art studio. And he says, it was so much fun to make a mythical pillow for my favorite mythical show. Yeah, Rhett, your hand is nuts. Keep up the great videos and amazing short films on your main channel. Thanks, John. All right, um, now without further ado, you, uh, you, you got to set this up, okay. like really build it up. Yeah. Like, right. what's a, this special guest, this is amazing. It is, okay, this is a special guest and this is amazing. <laughs> one, of, one of my favorite people ever. One of my favorite people ever. Yep. Yep. And I. <laughs> and she I is, owe her my life. I came forth from. Okay, listen. No. I don't want to go to that level. But this, she is a woman. Uh, <laughs> she laid me like an egg. <laughs> she, this is the. This is a woman who laid me like an egg. <laughs> um. Well, it's my mother, and she is here. So. Pam, welcome to the show. Pam. Pam. We talked about Pam. Like, we give you a hard time about Pam. It's like, how's yeah. Pam? Where I've asked Pam, about Pam. Where should Pam go? I don't know. You she can take my spot. We're not in charge here. Bring in another chair. Yeah, Pam, you sit there. And Jen, you sit on the other side of Pam. And we're, we, you, see, first thing oh. you discover, see, don't look at yourself over here. You gotta look at the <laughs> mythical beast. Okay, hi. Hi, Pam, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Welcome all the way from Canada. <laughs> and um, here's yeah. something from Canada. Oh, snap, what? You so you, you got a stuffed moose head, a hand delivered, <laughs> taxidermized. It's a miniature it's a moose, and you dipped it in bronze. It's <laughs> it's a hook, and uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's a nice moose. Sound you made. What do you like? recommend that we hang from said hook? Um, scarves. Oh, scarves. We don't we don't we don't do <laughs> scarves don't down know. here. What? But I can think of a num number of things. Give it a, give them a profile of it. That's what a side of a moose looks like. I could hang a, a Christmas stocking on that. That's I could what hang the a, inside of a moose looks like. It looks like a horseshoe. But you know, when you look at it from the side, I can I can convince myself that the moose's mouth is opening like that creature oh. in Super Mario Brothers yep. 2. Yep. Mm. You know, when you would like, you'd throw eggs at the thing. Yeah. Yoshi. Yep. And then like the eagle's mouth would open really big. And then you'd walk through it. It Mom, also looks like you know a what's tongue. up? She doesn't play video games. Like that is the mouth of the moose, and we're gonna walk through that into the another dimension, which is Canada. Yeah, sounds good. So Pam, how are you enjoying LA? Um, I I'm enjoying it. Seen any weirdos? Uh, no, no. You haven't seen any weirdos. I haven't seen any weirdos. That's what LA is all about. Is no, seeing the weirdos. Yeah, well maybe no, yeah. no. <laughs> now, all right, so. Let's just embarrass Jen here. Let's come oh on. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be some sort of mom story you can tell us about Jen. Uh, like you know, I don't know. Should I tell wet in her bed when she was. No, she I never. never she never wet her bed. No. Never. Oh, I did. Can I tell I them like about eight. the Slurpee or the black eye? Sure. Okay. The black eye. The black eye. The black eye. Yeah. So Jen played hockey, as everyone knows, <laughs> and. <clears throat> She, after her one hockey practice, she went to get a Slurpee. And she. That's kind of weird. You've been on ice all day and you want a Slurpee. <laughs> and she went to, to get the Slurpee to fill it up. And she, um, it wasn't working. So she went like this and let go. And she got a black eye. She got a black eye from a Slurpee? She got a, a black Slurpee? eye from a Slurpee. Not from yeah. the hockey, but from the Slurpee. So. Like what What hit you in the face? Actual Slurpee? <laughs> I, I wish, I, I mean, I'm not that fragile, thankfully. But, you know, it was just, I was pulling on the lever, on the Slurpee lever, and I was very anxious to get my Slurpee because I love Slurpees. And I like, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just let it go and it came back and like smacked me in the eye. You got attacked by a Slurpee like, machine. Yeah. I got attacked by a Slurpee machine. Did you so. end up getting the Slurpee and eating it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Just <laughs> of course you did. Shook it off, went to the next little pump thing. What are they called? You went to the next Slurper. Slurpee. The next dispenser. Slurpee pump. Slurpee eyeser. I went to that Slurpee next Slurpee, Slurpee pump because that first Slurpee <laughs> pump attacked me. <laughs> but <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yes, I have gotten a black eye from a slippery machine. Ugh. Not from the hockey game or the hockey no. practice. But you did get you injury. you got injured while playing hockey, pretty oh, yeah, significantly. Yeah. You broke your back or something. Yeah, I fractured my back. What do you think? You remember that day, Pam? No, she was she, not there. She was um, at college. You oh. were out hunting moose or something. <laughs> <laughs> she was hunting that one to give to you. Uh, do you hunt no. much? Uh, no. You're a uh, school teacher, right? No. Nope. <laughs> well, Jen's been telling <laughs> She's been telling you that? Apparently, okay. I've what been did you start? <laughs> You're a school teacher, right? Because no one's ever said that. I said that she <laughs> stays at home. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Oh, that's even better. I taught them all how to read, though, before they got to school. So does that count? Yeah, it counts. That it counts, counts a lot. Okay. Well, did you teach her how to write, too? How do you spell color? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jen. Which, which way do you want me to spell it? Trick question. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, old British spelling, yeah. Yeah. Got him. There you go. See you <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I want to keep holding this up. Is it? I'm going to go take a nap on my Picasso pillow. Any questions for us? Me? Yeah. Um, n- no, I really like watching you guys, though, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll just take That's compliments. It. But okay, yeah, we'll sure. <laughs> and you want We're money, too, Open right? for so. compliments. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have well, you ever thought that a moose looked like it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what they look like in Canada. Yeah, they're very surprised. Stupid. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what they look like after you shoot them. Right. Yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for bringing this Here's in. Here's Canada. Here's the Pam. Pamita. Can I? Let's Pamita. Pamita. <laughs> 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 <laughs>